if you're wondering why I've got an ice axe on my back in the middle of July, it's because it's something a bit different this weekend. We are um, staying in the CIC hut tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to check out some snow patches and hopefully some snow tunnels. Hi everybody! Not a... And then we might do Carnmore Jerig if the weather's alright. It's a bit drizzly at the moment. So hopefully it'll be dry tomorrow. And tomorrow night we're going to the Deed Squirrel, aka the Red Squirrel campsite, where we shall go to the Clack Egg for a few libations. And hopefully there'll be a good folk band on. And then the walk of shame back to the campsite. Now there's Ben Nevis in the clag. Probably a good thing we've not got any summit camps planned tonight. So we're uh, in touch and distance of the CIC hut. Probably about another couple hundred metres away, if that. I think this is the only alpine style hut that we have in Britain. Uh, it sits at an altitude of around 680 metres, I believe. And it just sort of nestles under the north face of Ben Nevis. It's quite a, it's quite a place. The cloud's quite low at the moment. The cloud's probably sitting at about 700-800 metres. And it's looking quite atmospheric just now. And there's quite a few snow patches beginning to appear as well. Well, conditions are rapidly improving each time. I look up, and I'm almost at the CIC. If I haven't already mentioned, CIC stands for the Charles Ingram Clark. Uh, it's a memorial hut. I think that is a snow patch we'll be heading up. I might be wrong when you wait for the snow expert, Mr. Ian Cameron, to confirm. Some smaller patches up there. So that's us uh, just made it there. Just have to wait on the other guys turning up with the key. We can get inside and uh, have a look. So that's us got our drinking supply and other drinking supply. So here we go. Do a little tour as always. This must be the drying room. See, we've got a toilet. It's a bit pongy. Well, recently we were thinking of doing the uh, um, roof walk. Oh, that is, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if we might just do the roof walk. Oops. Yeah, in kitchen area and this will be the bedroom. Loads of room. Got a few boards up there. And a little dining area. Just pretty cool like. Oh, more beds still. <laughs> yeah, got a fair few here. Hope there's no snorers tonight because I've not got any earplugs.
end of September there'll be nothing here. Nothing here. That's mental. I know you think there's no way that can I know happen, it's huge. It does and it melts quite quickly. I mean that's what three, four meters there? So what's happened here is the water and air's got in to melt the snow off the rock. There's a word for it and I'll put it on the screen just now. It's quite deep eh, that one. Aye, it goes down like curves way round as well. Is that a bird? Oh no, it's a wee snow button. So this is us just about to head in to the snow tunnel. Look at the blue colour in the snow, that's well smart. Calm just behind me. I love that blue colour. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Like. So this is deep into the tunnel now, and it's going to get darker. Further up we go. Ooh, this is amazing. And then we have light. Where's he even gone? It's almost back out the tunnel. Scrambling down with a steady stream, I'm absolutely soaked. Oh, it's weird as soon as you came out the tunnel, you got the blast of heat. But that's where we went in. Uh, through there. I think we popped out just up there. So we've parked company with other guys there, heading back to the car park. We're just going to head up Carmore Jerig now, just a quick up and down, and uh, back to the car. But this is where we went. So we came up here, and then we stopped at that snow patch there first, just a little teaser, and then we came right up to this patch here and then we went into the chasm up here um, and then we went across that little ledge there and then that last in the middle snow patch there that's where we uh, entered the snow tunnel it's weird when you look at it from here it just looks really steep and so I think as a non climber how would you get up there but it's actually easy steep steep and loose but it was fine and we could have visited this one as well but we've left that one for another day. So there you go. Ben Neverso is looking fantastic. The north face is absolutely amazing, what a scene. So this is us on the Carmore Jerig summit. 
It's pretty cold and windy at the now, but it's been nervous looking quite atmospheric in the clag. So we're going to head down this ridge here and eventually tail off and pick up the path that we were on last night back to the car and then head down to Glencoe. Get into the Red Squirrel, get the tent up, shower, quick scoop, pub and then check out the band at 9 o'clock. Should be good. I'll see you later. That's the tents up in the Red Squirrel. 8 o'clock, it's been a long day. Just as well Kev doesn't snore because he's pitched right next to his. <laughs> Tell you what, I've not been in a campsite for at least a year. But check the room in this bad boy. It's like the tarp. Happy days.